Today we'll be comparing the Yeti $80 lunchbox to a generic lunchbox. Yes, that's what I said. $80, eight zero for a lunchbox. I know what you're thinking. This thing better be literally making me a meal every single time I eat lunch if it costs $80. Bad news is, is no, this is not a personal chef in a lunchbox. It's just a lunchbox. Imagine being the parents that send their kid to school with a Yeti lunchbox. That kid is gonna get beat up so hard. Nothing screams like I'm trying to live through my children than buying them a Yeti lunchbox and sending them to school with it. Plus, not to mention, your kid's probably gonna lose the lunchbox. And so you're basically just like taking $80 and just burning it. And if you're using this lunchbox as an adult, I'm pretty sure that your employer will give you a pay cut because they're gonna take one look at this lunchbox and go, holy crap, I'm paying this person way too much. Not only will you be down $80, you're gonna be down about 10 grand a year because your employer is gonna think you're paying you too much. You're the one. Yeah, if I do the math right, this is like a $10,080 lunchbox. That seems like money well spent. Maybe for $80, there's like a secret compartment in here that has like a winning Powerball ticket. If we look at some of the features, obviously it's got the handle, pretty heavy duty material on here. And then the latch here, um, which actually the latch is very intense for a lunchbox. Yeti, I know your thing is bear proof, but it just, you do not need to make your lunchbox bear proof. It's just, it just doesn't need to happen. When you open it up, it actually is magnetic. So that I think is like the only feature that like a normal lunchbox probably doesn't have. If you're telling me that this thing costs $80 because of these magnets. I don't like you very much if you say that. Now we're comparing it to generic lunchbox. I would say most people take this as their lunchbox to work every day. A grocery bag. This costs zero dollars. This is not as durable as this, um, but yet, I mean, you can swing this around like this. It's not going to break pretty heavy duty from going from your car or truck into work every day. I think it'll get you there. The grocery bag has these nice handles here for you to hold. Um, you could actually, if you wanted to, tie them together as well. It's pretty spacious in there. It's cheap, durable for what you need it for, going from your car to work. Got these beautiful handles that you could even tie to seal it up. And uh, it's there's a lot of room in here to fit a lot of stuff. Now the point of a lunchbox is to make sure that your food stays good until you're gonna eat it. I put this in here at 8 a.m. I'm gonna see if my sandwiches I put in each one are still good. This thing's a little top heavy with the magnets. Sit. Sandwich number one. Tastes pretty good. Tastes like a ham and cheese sandwich. You had your lunchbox? It works. Tastes pretty good. So I would say that the grocery bag works as well. Another added feature of this you didn't think about is when you're done eating your food, put it right in your pocket. You can take that home with you. This, it's so bulky. It'll, you'll have a tough time putting it in your car. Um, you're gonna need a trunk. Oh, I need a lunchbox. Boom. All in all, does the Yeti lunchbox work? Of course. Does your standard generic lunchbox in the grocery bag work? Yes. So I'm going to let you decide if you're going to spend $80 on your lunchbox. Oh, you betcha. Yeah. Yeah.